Hey everyone, this is Vikas for MOVFX and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this type of simple and a smooth text animation in Fusion. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we have to start with a new composition. So go to file menu and take a new composition and close the previous composition by clicking on cross button here. Now we have to check our composition size and frame rate. So go to file menu and click on preferences and here is frame format. So this composition comp2 is a 1920 into 1080 and 30 frame per second. So it's good and then click on save. Now convert this composition into 5 seconds. So put the value uh, 150 frame which is equal to 5 seconds and hit enter. Now let's create a background. So import an image. So go to folder and this is our image. Uh, let me tell you guys this image is downloaded from pixabay.com and link given in the description. So download the image and drag and drop to the flow window. Now right click on flow window, go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap and select this node and press F2 for rename and rename it to image and hit enter. Now drag it to the viewer and then click on fit button and window layout one for single view and increase the size of this window a little bit. Uh, after that let's fit this image with our composition. So select this image and press shift plus a space bar for search box and search for crop node. So this is our crop node click on ok and drag it to the viewer. After that select this crop node and go to properties and check this box keep centered. And now let's take a background node. So click on BG button and rename it to black okay, and hit enter. N now merge with this image file. So take a merge node. Now use this black node as a foreground and crop node as a background. So connect this green foreground point to this black and yellow background point to this crop node and drag it to the viewer. Now select this merge node and come to properties and here is blend options. So put the value 0.75 and hit enter. Now let's create a text node. So click on text plus button here. So this is our text. So type a text whatever you want to but I'm typing animation and now drag it to the viewer. Now change some settings. So select this text and increase the size of this text like 0 0.173 and select any type of font style like century gothic. Change this bold to regular. Now let's create a mat. So take a background, press F2 and rename it to mat and hit enter. Now change this color to white and click OK. After that select this mat node and click on rectangle mask button here. So select this rectangle and create a mask like this. OK. Now turn on high quality and turn off this auto proxy. Now merge this mat with our text. So take a merge node and use this mat as a background and text as a foreground. So connect this green foreground point to this text node and yellow background node to this mat and drag it to the viewer. Now select this merge node and come to operator option and change over to in like this. After that select these node and press ctrl C on the keyboard for duplicate it and paste it by pressing ctrl V on the keyboard. So, so these node are duplicates of this node. So select this rectangle and zoom it by ctrl plus a scroll up and drag this mat. Okay and drag this merge okay now let's merge this half text and this half and make it full 
and complete text so take a merge node now connect this green point to this and yellow point to this and drag it to the viewer let's animate the text node so select this text node and click on accept button and add a transform after text node and select this transform node and go to frame approx 125 and right click on center and click on animate and go to frame 35 and drag this text like this okay same thing for this text also so select this text and click on xf and add a transform go to frame 125 right click on center and click on animate go to frame 35 and drag this text like this now let's check this okay after that let's merge this text with our background so increase the size of flow window select these nodes and place it over here and let's merge with our background so take a merge node so let's connect the foreground point to output of this merge node and connect this yellow point to this output and drag it to the viewer now click on fit now let's create a rectangle box around it so take a background node rename it to box by pressing f2 and hit enter now drag it over here now select this box and press shift plus a spacebar for search box and search for paint node so this is our paint node click on ok now drag it to the viewer and here is the polyline stroke button so click on this and right click on center go to this option polyline stroke 1 and go to create and here is two options ellipse and rectangle so click on rectangle button and click on ok now select this paint node and come to properties and pick a color yellow and click ok now expand this brush control and click on this square box and set the size of this like 0 0.01 and press enter now let's merge with our final output merge 4 so take a merge node by clicking on merge button here so use this paint output as a foreground and this merge 4 output as a background so connect this yellow point to this and green point to this paint node and drag it to the viewer now select this box and come to properties and here is alpha so make this alpha 0 now go to frame 135 approx and select this paint node and brush control minimize it apply control minimize this also and expand a stroke control and set the size of this rectangle box like 0 0.6 or something okay it's good now let's animate this a stroke path so go to frame 30 and right click over here and click on animate and go to frame 0 and make this value 0 okay now let's play this okay now go to frame 35 and here is right click here for shape animation so right click on this and click on animate and go to frame 125 and select these two control points and press shift and arrow key and make rectangle box like this okay now let's add a transform after 
this crop node so select this crop node and click on xf and go to frame 150 right click on size click on animate and go to frame 35 and increase the size of this image like this now make this animation smooth so go to spline window and press f4 on the keyboard for full screen and click on this button one so select these keyframes press f on the keyboard for flatten and click on this button and here is both control points so drag this control point and make the curve like this okay now uncheck this transform 3 and check this transform 2 and here is both keyframes so select this and press F on the keyboard for flatten so select this control point and drag it okay now it's good again check this transform 1 and here is both keyframes so select this press F on the keyboard and drag this control point and make the curve like this now last paint node now last one for polyline so check this now it's done so press F4 and go to flow window now let's play this okay now let's create an aspect ratio so take a background so click on bg button and rename it to aspect aspect and hit enter now select this aspect background and click on rectangle button and make this rectangle like this okay now let's merge it so take a another merge node so use this aspect as a foreground so connect this green point to this and yellow point to this and drag it to the viewer and select this rectangle and click on invert button so it's almost done now let's turn on motion blur for this animation so select paint node uh, which have animation on this parameter and this parameter so click on this option and click on motion blur same thing for transform one so select this transform node go to this option and turn on motion blur for transform two also so select this transform node two and come to this option check this motion blur option and one last thing for this transform so select this one go to this option and turn on motion blur now it's done so let's play this and this is our final output so thanks for watching this tutorial and i hope you like it so i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye